Welcome back. The trend of consumer indebtedness continues in the country with many struggling to pay back their loans. There are a number of debt agencies available to assist them to get out of debt. But now focus is on how the agencies are helping and is their formula working or are there alternative measures to get out of debt? The, the, well, to discuss this, we are joined by Sobrisha Balala, who has penned the book, How to Get Out of De Bad Debt and Use Other People's Money and Resources to Get Rich. And he joins us in the studio. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Colin. Much appreciated. All right. Let's, let's now start with the current mm. formula of getting out of debt with mm. The, not, notwithstanding the fact that we've got so many debt agencies available in the country, are yeah. they getting it right? Um, you know what, one of those uh, uh, correct one, which I, 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 I prefer, which I do it myself too, is debt counseling. It's a brilliant uh, thing. Why? I'm saying it's a brilliant thing because there is, a, there is an act that backs it up. But beyond that counseling, you can also do your own arrangement. If you can see in my book, I, can, I give so many methods of how to get out of debt. But those uh, other things, those other methods of doing it, uh, they require high level of discipline. And then uh, you engage in negotiation with your creditors. And then uh, nothing guides you, both of you, in other words, the two parties. But now with debt counseling, because of the act, as much as we negotiate, we can always refer to the act and the re regulations that have been passed by the national credit uh, regulator. Mm -hmm. so, so many people are in debt not because uh, they wanted it mm -hmm. essentially to go and live a lavish lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Others you'd find they took a bond and yeah. they have a car and then they bought furniture and, and so forth. Mm. And now they buy clothes on credit as well. And mm. at the time they find themselves deep in debt and they want to get out and just minimize their debt free service uh, programs. Mm -hmm. how, how do you help during debt counseling and debt management? Uh, look, um, once we, you come under debt review, you sign a form which is called Form 16. And then once you have signed that, that means you are already under debt review. As debt counselors will then notify creditors. And once we notify creditors that you are under debt review, you are somehow protected because they cannot now blacklist you. They cannot now uh, take legal action or probably repossess your, your, your valuables like your house and car. And then now they give us an opportunity, meaning yourself as a consumer, myself as a debt counselor and a creditor, the three of us, we need to negotiate. They give us a period of two months to negotiate, which is good. You know, when he started this debt counseling, um, unfortunately, the majority of creditors were not in favor of it. They were working against it. So that is why it has a bad name. And then, uh, unfortunately, some of the debt counselors also, they were doing their own things that are not correct. So, but now the creditors have noticed that, no, this thing is working. Because as, as early as, uh, as late as uh, June this year, <clears throat> creditors were collecting plus minus 500 million a month. And then uh, they saw it as more efficient as compared to debt collection. Debt collection is done by uh, lawyers or attorneys. And attorneys are very expensive. And uh, the problem with attorneys, uh, their fees are not kept. With debt counseling, the fees are kept. So in terms of attorneys, you go to attorney A or attorney B, the other one will charge 5, 10, 15, it all depends. And then the other thing is when they go, they must get an order first. And then uh, you know what, it, what happens in court, the court roll. They'll have to wait until they get a court order. So it was too long. It was taking too long. Mm -hmm. So they were not getting their money quicker. But now they have realized that, no, 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 they're getting their money quicker. So that is why they're cooperating. They even go further than now <clears throat> um, just accepting. Some creditors, they even reduce the interest rate. Mm. And you can imagine interest rate when it's reduced by one percent. That's a huge money mm. and a huge period. Let, let's now yeah. let, let's now get to the issue of somebody who needs to get out of debt now. Yeah. And would read your book, and when you come across it, uh, the title says "How to Get Out of Bad Debt mm -hmm. and Use Other People's Money mm -hmm. and Resources to Get Rich." Yeah. yeah. How does that work? Look, that is why bad debt, because there are two types of debts. It's bad and good debt. The good debt makes you rich, you see. But for you to use a good debt, 
you need to have a, a very good uh, credit record. You know, funny, funny enough, if you don't have a debt, and no one will, will borrow money, because the bank work on trust. They need to trust you. How is this person conducting himself? Mm -hmm. You see, so that is why I had to separate between bad and good debt. So, so now that I don't have <coughs> debt, and uh, there's a break even yeah. between me and my creditors, yeah. how do I get rich? Because when you say yeah. getting rich, it means that my bank balance increases, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, look, like I said, a good debt. The good debt, the example of a good debt, you buy a property, not a property for yourself, you rent it out. So the money that you get, paid by who? By the, 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 the tenant, not you. That's one part. You don't pay it back. A bad debt, you pay it yourself. But this one, somebody pays it. And at the same time, remember when he pays that, the value of the house keeps on going up. So in other words, your balance sheet will look good. And sometimes, if you are lucky, you'll also have profit. Then that's a cash flow that you put it in your pocket, you see, and which is, which is very good. Um, so that is why uh, uh, we talk about good debt. Mm -hmm. You can talk about Mall of Africa. I'm told that uh, they've built it out uh, by about plus minus four billion. I can guarantee you those business people, they didn't use their money. They had to go to the bank and get the money to, to build that. Because a businessman who uses money to build his wealth is not clever. Okay. So you need to use other people's money, and which you can get it from the bank and other institutions. Not okay. only the bank can give you the money. Okay, sounds interesting. Yeah. Well, I'm talking here to Sobri Shabalala, who is the author of How to Get Out of Bad Debt, Use Other People's Money and Resources to Get Rich. And thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you.